In the last Flow Quick Start video, we enabled Flow and looked at the traffic in a simple application running on AHV. Now let's look at that same application and protect it with categories and security policies. If you haven't enabled Flow yet, go back and check out the first video. Here is our example application which has a web and a database tier. Our application developers told us that the web tier needs to allow inbound access on port 80 and the web needs to talk to the database on port 3306. For now, we can allow outbound access and lock down the outbound traffic later. Since the web tier is open to the outside world and we don't want any communication between the different web servers, we'll lock down the web server tier and block them from talking to each other. The developers may add more databases later on down the line and they might replicate to each other, so we'll leave that path open between them. Now let's implement this policy using Nutanix Flow. So our developers have deployed two virtual machines and these two virtual machines have a, a, a web server and a database server and we need a way to sort these virtual machines and we're going to use categories to do that. So if we come up over here to virtual infrastructure categories, we have an application type. Uh, and since this is a task manager application, uh, we're going to use the application type of task man. And we have other applications in here as well, but uh, these two VMs, we're gonna apply the task man app type. In addition to application type, we also have an application tier for that web and database tier. So here we have one database VM and two web VMs. If we wanted to add new application tier categories, we just click on the bottom here and type the name of any new tier inside our app, such as a proxy, if we desired. The next step is to apply these categories to the existing virtual machines. So here we have our VM01 and our VM02, and a new view I created called Flow that shows the categories assigned. We see here that both of these VMs have the application type task man category assigned to them. And VM01, in addition, has the web category assigned as well. We'll come back to VM02 and its missing database policy later on. In the meantime, let's create a security policy to protect this application. So we'll click Create Security Policy, Secure App, and inside the security policy, we'll just give this a name and a description, and we're gonna pick that application type category of Task Manager. We could configure some additional settings to handle IPv6 or syslogs, but we'll leave those at the defaults for now. We're going to protect different application tiers so we'll click, we'll click on Set Rules on App Tiers and pick both the web and the database tier to allow us to protect those two different tiers of the app. Now, the first thing that we need to do is protect, uh, add an incoming source for this traffic. Uh, so there is a special shortcut we can use under subnet IP called 0.0.0.0/0, and that's basically allow all on the inbound side. And we will connect that to the web tier. So we give this rule a description such as allow all to TCP port 80 for web. And we'd select the service and we could pick a, a protocol such as TCP port 80. And that would satisfy the requirements for the inbound connection to this app. Now we could also uh, allow some connections between the web and the database here. Now, as soon as we click on the web, it switches over to set rules within app. We connect from the web to the database and give this a description as well. So web to, DC, uh, web to DB on 3306. And now we'll select a service. And instead of an individual port, we'll type in the service uh, MySQL. And that'll automatically pick the known service ports for MySQL. And we can click Save here on this rule. And we can see that the rule is added. And if we hover over that line, it shows the TCP connection on 3306 on MySQL. And if we switch back over to rules to and from the app, 
uh, we need to satisfy the outbound requirement by just allowing all traffic out. We could switch to a strict allowed list, but for now, we'll just leave it at allow all. And there's one more piece, uh, and that's the connections between the web server. So if we switch back to set rules within the app, we see that those web servers can talk to each other. So let's click edit, and just for the single checkbox, we can disable the web servers from talking to each other on any ports between them. And we just hit next and monitor, and this policy will be placed into a monitor mode. If we go back and open the security policy that's just been created, we can confirm that we have one web server listed here, app tier web, uh, but we seem to be missing the database server. So app tier DB shows zero and there's no VMs inside that list. Uh, so we know that we have to have app type taskman applied and we should have app tier database applied to that VM as well. So let's close this and go look at that VM. If we navigate to VMs and look at our VM2, we see that the problem appears to be a missing app tier category on that VM. So we can just go to manage categories and select the DB category uh, from the search query here. If we add this category to the VM, we should now see that VM show up inside the security policy. Uh, so after a short wait here, uh, the category shows up on VM02. And we just navigate back to security policies, click on our demo taskman policy, and now we do see that there is one database VM and also one web VM. So if we look at the da database VM, we see its IP address, and we can also look at the web VM and see its IP address. And now that we have the web server's IP, let's navigate to that task manager application. And we see that all along, we forgot the task to categorize the DB server. So just like that, we've used our taskman application, and we can even see that active traffic inside the flow security policy. So here in monitoring mode, we see that there are some source that has been sending ping traffic to both the web server and to the database server uh, while we were using this application policy in monitor mode. So we can go and enforce this policy by clicking on enforce, confirming that that's the action we would like to take. And now all of that ping traffic that was happening while our application was running should be blocked and it shows up here in red. But all of the inbound traffic on TCP port 80 is allowed. So we could check allow 80 in our task manager application to make sure it still works and our web and DB are active. In just a few clicks, we've categorized our new application and protected it with a flow security policy. We used monitor mode to discover active traffic, and we even used enforce mode to block unwanted traffic. Try it out yourself and take a test drive at Nutanix.com forward slash flow. In our next few videos, we'll take a deeper dive into each of the areas we touched on here. Thanks for watching.